Like a doll's eyes, chief. All right, YouTube, what's going on? Um, I'm just going to apologize in advance for the Tinix. Um, a lot of colors aren't popping right now, but it's usually around, you know, late at night when I'm able to make a video, so I apologize. Um, but I have a few things to update. So first, I'll start with livestock, and then we'll work into the equipment. Um, so where do I start? All right, so I got a mandarin goby. Now, I wanted to wait off on this for a while, but um, my wife really wanted one, so, you know, I was like, all right, we'll try it out. You know, I'll just feed them, whatever. Um, so I got that along with an Antheus. I'm not really sure which, what kind he is, but he's like the little round one that looks like a chromie. I forgot the name. Um, so I got them, and then I got a bunch of peppermint shrimp. I think I got like six or nine of them. I can't remember. Um, Anyways, all the peppermint shrimp are gone. I don't know where they're at. It's been a few days. I have no clue where they're at. Um, I don't know if they're hiding or if uh, the wrasse got to them. I'm not really sure. But uh, the mandarin goby's over here. He's uh, he's doing fine. The first two days, he just kind of hung out in this corner. Um, he ate the first day, didn't eat the second. Today's the third. And I actually saw him browsing around the rock looking at stuff to eat. So I think he's doing fine. He's just not moving too much, but he's breathing fine. He seems like he's doing fine. I think he just needs some time to acclimate. And then here's the um, the other Antheus. Like I said, my blues are really just killing color right now. Um, there he is. And then uh, just today, I decided to get this uh, squareback Antheus. He was sold to me as a, a liar tell, I think that's how you say it. Um, but I don't think that's who he is. I think he's a square back because he's got a square on his back and he's a square back. Um, the Emperor Angel is getting huge. He's like doubled in size. I got him in December and it's mid-February right now and he's just a monster. He just started eating algae. He's the man. Oh, and then I picked up this uh, uh, sea fan, I think it is. It's pretty cool. It closes up and opens throughout the day. It's like a bluish color. And then... Uh, on my local Facebook page um, here on Long Island, there was a guy who uh, was selling uh, bird's nest coral, and he gave me this huge piece for 30 bucks, and it's it's massive. Um, it's green with kind of like an oranges oranges like a peach body. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, move some things around. That GSP was starting to take over that rock, so I moved that rock out of the way over there, kind of flipped it upside down so it doesn't grow. And this GSP, I can tell, is, can just really take over the tank. Um, there's a... I moved that Montipora up away from it because it was kind of bleaching it out. So I kind of put it back there and hopefully it'll kind of shelf out this way. And then we got the bird's nest coming this way. I moved that rock so it's kind of more divided. So I have two islands. Tripped into the dog there. Um, I think that's it. I got some snails for taking care of the tank. What else? Move the toadstool. Everyone's looking good. I added this guy in today and he just started swimming around the tank like it like nothing ever changed. I threw in some food, he ate it right away. There's zero aggression between the powder blue. It's like the other fish don't even notice him. Powder blue tank just like doesn't even phase him at all. Um, you know, and it kinda worried me because powder blues can be aggressive. You know, I added him afterward. He's, you know, supposed to be a super male. You know, but there's no aggression, which I'm like really thankful for. Uh, move the torch up there. Um, I'll have to take a video, another video in like the daylight cycle. Looks better. I just don't want to do it because it, I feel like it stresses the fish out. Uh, moving on to the equipment. It's the protein skimmer. It was originally on top of a bucket over here. Wife said, that doesn't work. So, moved it over here on a nice table with some nice plumbing. And it's doing really well. I upgraded the pump to like a 1500 gallons per hour pump. Just a quiet one pump. It's really, really cheap. But, you know, I just needed the flow. I didn't, don't really care about anything else. Um, so I have that. Uh, it's plumbed. Plumbed. Over here. And it comes out right there. So I got some added flow, you know, I added the Jibayo, I got the flow from the skimmer, Kato's loving life, it's growing like crazy. Um, what else? 
else. I think that's it. You know, I got all those controls mounted over there. Um, I think that's it. And you can grow Anthias, coral, coral, snails, peppermint shrimp, dead probably. Uh, skimmer's pulling out mad waste. Looks really good over here versus what it was. Um, I got some neck extenders to kind of help the bubble contact time. And also I will be dosing vodka soon. Um, I actually started that today um, manually. And then I'll have a dosing pump soon and I'll be dosing it starting at one milliliter per day, every day for the first week, and then two milliliters a day for the second week, and so on and so forth. Um, yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much it. You know, I'm gonna get rid of the mechanical filtration, uh, do the vodka dosing. Now I'm starting the vodka dosing out very small because I know I've added a lot to my tank and there's a lot of fish and a lot more corals to come. So I'm just gonna start it out now so the tank can kind of get used to it. You know, I'm not going to be dosing a ton of vodka to where it's like, you know what I mean? You know, I still want the Kato to be able to grow. I still want this, the protein skimmer to pull out, you know, stuff. I just kind of want want to get rid of the mechanical filtration. And I don't want to have to worry about any medias that I have to, to you know, refill, you know, phosphate media, nitrate media. I'm trying not to do a water change ever. So that's why I'm doing the vodka dosing. Not because my filtration can't handle it. But it's because, you know, I never want to do water change and, you know, all the mechanical replaceable filters, I'm done with that. I've been doing this for like 10 years. I'm, you know, over that. Not trying to clean a, a filter sock every day. Um, oh yeah, so the auto top off, there's the bucket there. Just been kind of adding water to it. Um, yeah, like I said, I'll come back with another video um, where it's like more of the daylight color so you guys can see actually the colors of the fish because the squareback antheus is a gorgeous fish completely gorgeous but the blue lights he just looks blue with like a white square but he's not he's absolutely gorgeous Here, maybe I can turn the lights off show you what he looks like see the difference Looks great. Even the powder blue looks like more deep. But the corals, you can't even see any of the corals. But whatever. That's the update. Thanks. Somewhere beyond.